Alright, so, hey comic book viewers, uh, it's been a long time no see, but I'm doing, uh, I'm bringing back Cool Comic Book Basement, and we're at the remodeled, uh, Newcastle Comics. Steve's got it all hooked up, man. He's got the Justice League of America. You got, uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Hawkman. Who's that? Is that... Is that Adam on his shoulder? Uh, I think so. Yeah, the Adam. The, my favorite is the Martian Manhunter, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, and Black Canary. And over here, man, this shit, this man, this stuff's so fat. You get the saw the people. A lot of, this is a problem, this is popular in the comic book. If you don't read it, it's a mixture between, uh, like, Lord of the Rings and, uh, this is a little, it's so popular in the comic book world. And over here, all the members of uh, the Avengers. Um, I'm not gonna name them all. You know, we, people don't know we get a beast. Some along where along the line, Agent uh, Venom joined the team, and you get Spider-Man, Captain America, Luke Cage. There's a uh, the horror. That's uh, the Winter Soldier. You've seen him in the uh, latest American uh, Captain America movie, and you got this big boy Thor. And we got the comics. Yeah. All right. We got Paul. He was reading something, but now he, he, he we're going to be talking to him later. So yeah. This is what it looks like now. We got that wall we showed you before, but yeah, check it out. Say hi, Gavin. Huh? Say hi. Say hey, Gavin. Check it out. This is a big add-on. This huh? is my new favorite part of the whole store. Every get every weekend, I'm pumping quarters into the machine. And everything that is awesome. You got the Ninja Turtles arcade. And the X Men Street Fighter, X Men vs Street Fighter. I don't play that that much. That's okay. But yeah, let's pump it in. Let's pump the quarters in this bad boy. Now this came out. This is the original arcade game. It came out when I was like, I don't know, 13. Yeah. Let me just check out my ninja skills. This really brings me back, yo. Oh, see now I'm getting my butt beat. Oh, yeah, I'm getting pretty good at this game. Pretty much know all the moves. I'm gonna beat it in four quarters one day. Ah, oh. I hit by the big balls. That's your C set. Ha. Yeah, so, hey, Calvin, you want to take over for me? Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you just wanted to take over. I just, you can't let the turtles, man. You got to help them out. So, Calvin's not going to take over for me. All right, yeah. Get him, Calvin. Take it out. All right, make sure ah. you put my name in the high score. You can type my name. All right. So, all right. This August, this this week in August, we had three cool comic book movies. All of them were awesome. I saw. I just saw Sin City. Uh, I saw that. Um, Let's say Monday or I saw it Monday night. Let's just say I, yeah, I saw it Monday night because I had to work that night. No, I'm just Tuesday. Anywho, uh, 
I saw it. It was awesome. I can't wait to see it again. Uh, they had. That was my favorite part. And they had a lot of really cool nudity. It was also one of my favorite parts. So, go see it. I definitely recommend it. Uh, Miko really got down, which was probably my favorite part. And my favorite, you know, they had my favorite. I never seen cool arrow shots. And there's everything about it. I loved it better than the first one. Paul, here. He said, I seen the Ninja Turtles, I like that too. I had a good home feeling, but you know, Paul seems to disagree, he hasn't seen it yet. We've both seen Guardians, go see Guardians, by the way. But he's never seen Ninja Turtles, and he won't even knock it. So. Sacrilege. So, you know, explain yourself, Paul. There's no way it's good. The Shredder makes Transformer sound, Casey Jones is in it. Megan Fox plays April and the only Turtles have lips. Hey, got a call coming in. Alright, so. Hey, Paul, how's it going? Okay, how are you? Alright, so. Um, this August, and all the new movies came out. Uh, we started with Guardians of the Galaxy. Awesome, I laughed the whole time. And it's my new favorite superhero movie by far. And then we had the Ninja Turtles, and which I thought it was pretty wholesome. Besides Shredder's uh, overweight, you know, I got over it. The overweight armor, I just pretended it wasn't happening. So, you know, big deal. I thought it was a good wholesome show. He disagrees, disagrees. We'll talk to him in a second. And then the Sin City was also awesome. We'll get to that also. But I'll bring up Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, what was your favorite part in Guardians of the Galaxy? I liked that at the end you had Howard the Duck. And <laughs> in the background also with Adam Warlock's cocoon. Oh, and yeah. And Del Toro was pretty cool as the collector. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to see what they're doing with that. I mean, I wish I'd... CGI sometimes ruins... Like, how the duck, you know, he doesn't look, he looks like a cartoon character in that. And I'm like... Well, you should, if he's from a, a different dimension. <laughs> True, but... He's drawn to look different in the comic. He purposely looks like a cartoon character. Oh. Yeah, you so have there. a point. And the movie, well, the movie in the 80s, they didn't portray that. But, uh... Yeah. But I like, I like, a lot of, not everyone caught this, but there's a Space Invaders pun in Guardians of the Galaxy. And that's not my favorite part, but I like that not everyone can get that, you know, only some people can pick that up. Favorite so, couple sucks! That's some good, Chris has a short blown, you know, you remember Chris, was his comic show, I forgot the name of it, Blowing Your Mind or something, that org. Called comic execution. I don't Bullshit. So anywho, it's though. It's called blow your mind. <laughs> 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 yeah. So. It's called play. Paul. He's got a bug up his butt about the Ninja Turtles movie, even though it was a good movie. Besides the Shredder, I didn't like the. And plus, the foot soldiers wearing those dumb masks. I didn't like that much, but it still had a home. At, you know, besides that aside, I had a good wholesome feeling, and I liked it, and cool puns, and it just captured an Ninja Turtles, I think. And if Michael Bay was any smart, he would in the sequel, he would be about from Rocksteady. Uh, never pay as much attention to those clowns behind Rick over there. Uh, they're just, you know, they're, they're just high on drugs. So... <laughs> so, all right, wait, why don't you to think, why would you even knock the Ninja Turtles, even if they download them for free? Yeah, because there's not a lot of in the video, just a private Megan property. Fox plays so, like, April O'Neil. The Turtles have lips. What? What camera's going to No, like, he's not alive. The Soldiers don't, aren't portrayed properly. This doesn't count as a purpose. 
story isn't that interesting. Actually, I think and it does. It's got too much over the top action. They're taking Humvees out with their shells. It's clearly a mashup of but I'm Transformers sure, and Jimmy I'm sure he could. And it's just a Michael Bay masturbating over more explosions. <gasps> there's not a lot of explosions in uh, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, but there's enough explosive moments. Oh, well. I say you at least gotta knock it. I mean, some people probably would agree with you, but like, overall, you know, it could have came out a lot worse. No, you know, How do you they, know? They was talking you about it when we first started hearing the word that they was going to put them in, from, have them come from space. So, I'm glad they didn't come from space. I mean, the whole, I read that, I love the original Splinter um, origin from the original cartoon, the best. They need to just kept that, how he was human at first. But he wasn't human. In the original cartoon, he was human. Oh, well, yeah. But that's fine. I'm all right with that. You just have to look past, you know. You was know. that changing the thing I love until, until it's not? No, it's not changed that much. It's just, it makes more sense for him. <laughs> I the mean, work is the origin of the Ninja Turtles... The well, origin of the Ninja Turtles doesn't make, make sense. Some kid walk around, he just happened to buy these Ninja Tur uh, these Turtles and drop them in <laughs> where he uses that. And like, whoa. Like, this happened to just drop them in the right spot. And But yet, they're doing this, they, they're this lab rats instead. That makes more sense, don't you think? No. It's, you're putting logic into something that has mute animals. Yeah, well, okay. I'm right. Myself. Hey, so. look at that. You got some books. Yeah. Oh, well, you got to go. Well, last on the list of the movies, though, Sin City. It's so awesome. I like everything about it. It's just all awesomeness all together. The, they had the hookers kicking ass through the whole movie, which is awesome. The meal was the deadly swords, and I never seen such cool uh, AO shots. She's just cutting on all those gangsters' heads, and there's a lot of nudity in it. A, a lot. It's very good. Saying, you know, like, boob scenes, and I love it. The, the graphics are good, and it's got a lot more color, too. It's confusing, and us is also confusing because dead people, like Bruce Willis, is walking around, and it blends in. You have to, like, take this story from the first one and blend it in and figure out, yeah, you got to talk to this guy. He kind of explained, you know, why don't you explain more of what happened with uh, Marv and uh, John. And Sin City's not linear. Stories take place at different points. So in this one, Marv's still alive because it takes place before his story in the first movie. So Bruce Willis is dead. Yes. See? I didn't know this when I was watching the movie. I'm like, what is going on? What time, what, what, what am I looking at? What, what part of time am I looking at? Is this the son of the golden eye? Yeah, now it all makes sense. So, all right. We got some comic book week, please. Oh, before, I'm going to let Paul go first on the one he read this week. Tell him about, uh, tell him about Wolverine dies. Here. Really lame. He doesn't die at the end. He gets crippled by saber tooth, becomes a screw of arms, Boo! and decides to go hang out with his friends and have a mortal life. They killed him, all right. They killed any aspect that he might have had to once be cool. Yeah. So yeah, check that out. No, you don't. Don't check it out. Five ninety nine. Don't endorse that. Five ninety nine. Oh my goodness. I would have paid for a comic book, people. Penny pincher. Imagine that. Well, that's okay. I ain't worried about it. It's just money. <laughs> uh, we got Thunderbolts. I always enjoy this read. Most of the time. Or I guess we can say all the time. This is the, the third, fourth part of... Punisher versus the Thunderbolts. Punisher got kicked out of the team. They, he wanted to assassinate this guy who has a lot of information, so Hulk's like, let's not kill him. So he 
quits them and curses their name. And like, in this one, he's taking on Electra because they blew up it. What happened was he found a bomb uh, in his refrigerator, but his apartment is all laced with you know, explosive lining protection or whatnot. You know, it's got uh, this, I guess some good artwork. And they go at it, but he doesn't kill Electra like he killed Deadpool. He kills Deadpool leader and Ghost Rider in the previous ones. And Brad real brutal ways. And he they doesn't kill Electra, that is end up breaking up. And and we got a broken heart, folks. So, uh, go check that out. It's always a good read to me. Um, next on the list. Uh, I just flipped through it. It looks. They're still taking on the aftermath of. Uh, of uh, and the two twins trying to blow, take over the earth. Or destroy the earth. And this is good read. And then we got Wolverine and the X-Men. I flipped through this one. And that's a pretty good read. Um, they're on an island. And in case you didn't know, Wolverine and Storm are a couple now. Because she broke up with Black Panther. And, you know, Wolverine, you know, before he dies, he can use, you know, some good love from Storm. And, uh, and Paul just left the building, folks. So, you should check it out. They're on an island with a whole bunch of mutated animals and big fat monsters. And it's like, you know, date down Main Street. And oh, here's the other cover. It wasn't a big week this week. Here's another Uncanny Adventures cover. Welcome back, Paul. So yeah, this is six. I'm gonna try to in a week. I'm gonna try to sell it for eight, make a couple bucks maybe, or maybe I find a sucker to buy it for ten. I know I can knock it off for eight. Here's my Deadpool pick for this month. This is Deadpool. The story, how as you may know, Deadpool married uh, a lady demon, and this is how. Why isn't it? This is how he saved her, uh, her from Dracula. Written by Brian Posehn. You know my man. Uh, he always writes good Deadpool comic books. And they just got them battling the werewolf. And at the end of this one is a uh, uh, centaur? centaur. Yeah, centaur. It's a centaur slash wolf man slash alien symbiote at the end. With teaming up with Dracula. So... Only in Deadpool, folks. I recommend that for sure. It's a good read. So, yeah. That'll do it for today's show. This is, uh, uh, it's been fun chatting with you guys and Paul. You should still go see the Ninja Turtles. Just, it's like taking off a band aid, Paul. No, just download it for free. Be, be a rebel. I have to go to prison. To see a yeah, I'm gonna go to prison. No one's gonna watch my show. <laughs> uh, well, all right. If you don't go see Ninja Turtles, if you see any of the ones that came out this August, see Guardians. You know, everyone loves that movie. Or if you know want some more adult stuff, go see Sin City. Both awesome movies. So that's the. Uh, until next time. It's Cool Comic Book Basement. I'm Jason Cool, and that's what's up. Not in the basement.